Now we're going to see how we can set up a reference image like that. So here we can see it in the viewport. And we can see it also on the orthographic viewport. There, the top, front and right view. This is going to need a bit of work you know, to set up. But uh, you can see it's very, very useful. So let's do it. First, you would need to find some images. You can find it, for example, here on the theblueprint.com, as you can see. And these images are all of the same size. Okay, so those are technical images. They are made for modeling. Then you're going to create a section of that. You're going to export in each different file. So I have done that already. So now let's jump to Cinema 40. We will need to create some objects, so let's create a polygon and for the first one I will put it in the Z axis. Okay, so this is the front view. Then here on the width and height, I'm going to use the width and height of our... So let's take here our Citroen right. And let's see here in detail, this is 787 by 249. So 787 by 249 all right so now we have the same size here as here now we're going to create a new material i double click here and in the color slot we're going to slide our image here i just need to slide it to the texture slot I'm going to apply, yes, so we have a copy of that. I'm going to put it on the polygon. Okay, so this is upside down. I just need here the orientation to put it to minus Z. Okay, that's one plane. Let's call it front. Now I'm going to create a second one, which would be the top one. Okay, so let's create again a polygon. So this is already on top. And I will fetch the size of our image. So this is this one. Properties on Windows. So of course on Mac, you will find the size elsewhere. This is 786 by 308. By 308. And that's it. I'm going to create a new material again. And in the color, let's take it this way now and this is the one yes again and let's put it on there and this will be the top okay so they're already aligned because I didn't do anything so they are just in the middle of each other and there I will need to change the size so we can have um, you can see here the size from the front here must match this one so let's use t and i'm going to change our size this way and i think we need to offset a bit like that i'm going to decrease in the size and we're fine okay so, so now let's create the back and front so let's create again a polygon and this one will be on X I'm going to put it there and the image here on the front so this is the front one let's see detail 338 249 let's create and I will fast forward a bit because now you see, you get the drill, I think. Okay, now we have a few problems. If I want to model, I need to have a crisp picture. As, as you can see, it's not the case. So that's very easy to fix. You just need to select all your materials this way. And then you would go to the viewport here 
and we'll say texture plan no scaling so now they are at top quality and you can see clearly what what okay now I would like to cut here on the white part so we only see the lines so for each of this picture there is an alpha so I'm going to use the alpha and for each one we're going to load the corresponding alpha so here it's very easy because this is already the bitmaps so this is the front one the top will be the top the right will be the right and the back will be the back okay and now we have that okay so now we need to make them a bit transparent so in order to do that we can take again our material and go to basic and make them transparent like that okay in the transparency settings we'll go to the reflectance and you don't need any of them of them actually so let's go remove and this one you can't remove but you won't say it in the viewport if you want to have a better display here you will need to go to the display option and activate transparency okay now we get the transparency of all our object now I'm going to adjust a bit the placement of all those okay and this one will be a bit like that now I don't want to see when I'm in front of that um, picture here, I don't want to see this one, for example, and the other way. So what I'm going to do is set and set up on the back plane, for example, for this one. I will go to the render tags and we use the display tag. And here in the display tag, we're going to use here the back face curling. Okay, so now you can see. I'm only going to see it from one side, not the other. Okay, so I'm going to copy paste this object this way. And now, when I'm switching from view to view, you can see I'm seeing only the one I want. So, in the case um, here for the view, the front view, I want to see it this way. We're going to switch it this way so minus x or it would make more sense if I did the opposite so let's go to the back and the back will be mine okay so now I can see it this way I can see it this way from there okay and this way I don't see anything we're almost done now I would like just to to make sure that I'm not going to take those objects by accident see if I create a sphere then I want to move my sphere I'm going to move uh, something else so you don't want to do that so I'm just going to lock them using layers so let's go to layers I'm going to create a new layer and let's put all of them in that layer and we'll just simply lock the layer we're going to hide from the manager and we're going to hide it from the render view yeah.